Recently, there's been some internet chatter about Liat neck braces. Some of it positive, some of it negative, but some of the negative things that people are saying are just not true. Dr. Chris Liat invented his first neck brace in 2003 and was awarded his first U.S. patent in 2007. But for as long as Liat neck brace has been around, there's still a lot of misconceptions and misinformation about them. And that means we just haven't done our job that well. And for that, you have our apologies. This is the first of a series of videos designed to get you some straight talk about neck braces, overcome some objections, and confront some rumors and wild stories that seem to crop up about really every new form of protective equipment. For instance, you may have seen a recent internet post that I saw in a couple of different forums where someone wrote, did you hear about that kid in Sweden that died from having his neck ripped open by a Liat brace? And you know people, there's an old saying that says a lie can run around the world in the same time that the truth is still tying its shoelaces. And it took us a lot of time and effort to track down that racing organization in Sweden, get a hold of their medical officer. But we did. And what he told us was that not only was no Swedish rider ever injured in any such accident, but no rider has ever been injured by a neck brace of any brand ever. And we have a letter to that effect. And that letter can be seen on our website, liat.com, in the lab section. Another baseless rumor was in the form of a lengthy blog someone wrote where they were saying that there's no such thing as neck brace testing because you can't throw people on the ground and break their necks just to test the safety system. Honestly, people, that's a bit ridiculous. How is it do you think testing is done on helmets, airbags, knee braces as examples? These products are not developed and tested by deliberately injuring people. Scientific testing emulates the forces and mechanics of crashes using both physical testing equipment and computer models. Liat, for example, partnered with BMW and KTM to develop realistic tests to measure the benefits of wearing our neck braces. In fact, Liat helped pioneer the development of testing that emulates the forces to the head and neck in typical motorcycle, ATV, snowmobile, and bicycle crashes. And Liat's testing is repeatedly being reviewed and refined by engineers, doctors, and other knowledgeable people devoted to improving rider safety. We just didn't publish all these testing procedures and test data in the past. This is one of our test documents, known as our white paper. It contains all the testing procedures, limitations, challenges, and results. It's an incredibly complex and detailed document, and for the average person, like me, virtually impossible to read. One of the purposes of this series of videos is to bring you all the information that's in here in a much easier to understand way. In our company, we have a testing laboratory and a lab team. The team is headed up by Dr. Chris Liat, who's both a medical doctor and a motorcycle racer. His inspiration to develop better neck protection comes from the tragic death of a South African racer from a broken neck in Dr. Liat's presence. Another member of the lab team is Cornell de Jong. Cornell has a master's degree in biomedical engineering and was involved in computer modeling of the human neck before he even came to Liat. Another member of the team is Peter Keevy, and he also has a master's degree in biomedical engineering. Peter and Cornell perform all the biomedical assessments of Liat products, past, present, and future. Daniel Samara is another member of the lab. Daniel uses his engineering background to help the Liat lab with quality control and certification processes. The last member of the lab team, who's critically important to the testing we do, doesn't have a name. That's because he's not a person. It's a hybrid three 50th percentile male anthropomorphic test dummy. That's a very long name to describe the same kind of test dummy that car companies use in their safety testing. These highly specialized and very expensive dummies mimic the movement of the human body as it behaves in a crash. But our dummy is very special because it's equipped with what's known as a motorcycle neck, which is a piece of equipment that only a handful of companies have worldwide. We film our tests with a high-speed camera and couple that with the data that comes from the 24 sensors in the dummy that include accelerometers, transducers, and gyroscopes. All this allows us to mimic and study the forces of the upper body and neck in a typical motorcycle, ATV, snowmobile, or bicycle crash. Here's what some of those test results look like. What you see here is that by using a Liat brace, there's a significant reduction of harmful forces to the neck during an impact. Wearing a Liat neck brace can increase the margin of safety to the point where you might just walk away from a crash that could have otherwise caused a catastrophic injury. And please note that in any one single crash, you could have all five types of these impacts. 
Lastly, I'd like to mention outside testing and certification. In Europe, CE has a wide variety of safety standards having to do with personal protective equipment. At LIAT, we're proud of the fact that not only are all of our neck braces certified as personal protective equipment, but all other LIAT protection items are CE certified as well. In closing, I'd just like to say that it should be obvious that I'm not a model or an actor. I'm just a motorcycle industry professional that for the last 35 years has done nothing but sell, market, design, or develop protective equipment for motorcycle racers and mechanics. And I don't particularly enjoy being in front of the camera. But I am going to bring you this series of videos giving you straight talk about neck braces. I will do my best to answer all of your questions and blow away some myths at the same time. And at that point, if you choose not to buy one of our neck braces, at least you'll be making an informed choice. Thanks for watching.